Om Shanti, a very welcome back to your own channel and today we're going to discuss and talk about the 8th of August Godly Blessing where Supreme Father wants us to have faith and God says that we have to overcome the big situations in our life whether they are the situations of Maya or whether they are situations which are going to make us fall in our mental peace or happiness. So let's understand what exactly does God have to say in this beautiful blessing. Abba says, may your intellect have faith and overcome even big situations of Maya by making them small as a victorious soul. So God says to make a big thing small or to make a small thing big is in your own hands. Don't we do that? We have a small situation. But when we start pondering over that situation, we start talking about why it happened, we start going into the reasons of it. And we find out it's because of that person and then we complain about that person. He is like that. She is like that. I knew it is going to happen this way. And when we are doing that, we are actually making a small situation bigger instead of focusing on the solution. So God says, you can make it big or you can make it small. So some people's nature is to make a big thing out of something small, whereas others make big things small. So no matter how big a situation of Maya comes in front of you, Maya could be a person with greed coming in front of you, a person with anger coming in front of you, or your own anger in that situation rising up, your own ego or jealousy rising up in that situation. So it can be from outside or it can be from inside, both. You can become bigger than that and that thing will then become small. By staying in your original stage, that is soul conscious stage, even big situations will appear to be small. And it will be easy for you to gain victory over them. Now this is what we do in Brahma Kumaris. We do this form of meditation where we focus not on the physical aspects of our life which are making, going to make us feel heavier and body conscious. We focus on the inner aspects or the infinite intellectual aspects. We go into a space which is not in the three-dimensional space, but which is there in the multi-dimensions. Now, when I talk about multi-dimensions, we are talking about soul consciousness over here. Now, soul consciousness over here means that I am actually talking about the non-physical aspect of everything in our life. Now, when we do that, when we focus on the non-physical aspect of everything in our life, we go from inside out. We go from an inner world of peace, happiness, purity and bliss. And then we face the situation. When we are in confrontation of the situation, we have irritation, anger, greed, ego, attachment, jealousy or whatsoever negativity which we have in our mind or any kind of heaviness. Complaining, criticizing, blaming or comparing or anything. Then that is a time when we should not make any decisions for that particular situation. So we go into the inner world, we make ourselves detached from the physical world around us which is going to bring in ego, jealousy, hatred or competition or comparison or criticism and we go into the inner world which is going to bring about purity and bliss and energy and power and then when we are settled in that kind of situation then we tackle that situation. So God says the inner situation can tackle the outer situation. So for that we learn meditation. So God says even big situations will appear to be small and it will be easy for you to gain victory over them. At the right time, remember that you are victorious every cycle and you will then be victorious with this faith. That in every cycle, now this is a very beautiful deeper aspect which cannot be understood just by this BD conference, conference. But we can understand this when we do the 7 day course. What is this cycle which we are talking about? In India, we talk about a cycle of 84 births. Some people call it 84 million births. But this is a cycle of 84 births which we talk about in a very practical manner, in a very scientific manner, we can understand that, and in a very logical manner. Now, when we speak about this cycle, all of us have come into this cycle, but some of us have come in the middle of the cycle, some of us have come in the three-fourth of the cycle, some of us in the one-fourth of the cycle we want to spend. But this cycle is very crucial for us. When we understand this cycle, we realize that this is not the first time which we are facing this situation. We have faced it multiple times. And many, many, many more times we are going to face it. So it's nothing new for us. And that is what we learn in this beautiful meditation which we learn in Brahma Kumaris. You too can go ahead and learn the beautiful knowledge. With this, Om Shanti.